Welcome back to the Awesome Lindsay channel. Today I'm building a light stand or pole shaped cylindrical object holder, like an audio boom pole or tripod. This is based off the standard garage broom organizer that you can find most anywhere. This version to me is much stronger and much more customizable build than the pre-made one. So my design uses these conduit hangers. They come in varying sizes. I use mostly number twos and number ones both of which are under a dollar, at least at the time of this recording, so make sure you're watching this now and not sometime in the future. If you wanted to go bare bones minimum, you could screw these into a stud, maybe bolt them to a shelf or a cart, or maybe anchor them into a concrete wall, and you'd only be out just the price of the hangers and your hardware. But for my build, I needed to include a few add-ons. First, I needed to put a board between my two wall studs and attach the conduit hangers to that, since there's no stud or anything in between. So I found some wood at my local hardware store, which was perfect for what I needed. This wood was the exact size I needed for my planned wall, and it had this cool groove in it for which I planned to seat the hangers to keep them from rotating. The wood was unpriced, so I asked an employee, and it turned out that this is part of pallet strapping and they just toss it, so he said I could just take it. So if you're out shopping, maybe check in the back near the bay doors, see if you can save yourself some money on lumber. Depending on where you build yours though, you may need to choose a different board type. I'd recommend at least going three quarters of an inch thickness by two inches in width, and then however long you need. I also painted my boards white to match my wall. I painted all the sides except for the back because I didn't want to wait for the front to dry, then flip it over and then wait and paint the back. So I just skipped that step since it won't be seen anyway. I would highly recommend using some Plasti Dip unless your stands are already scratched up because these hangers will definitely scratch up your light stands or whatever you put on them. I ended up going with three coats on each conduit hanger and it is definitely worth it. It was at this point I realized that the groove idea won't work because the number one hangers fit perfectly in the groove, but the number two hangers, which I use most of, are just slightly too big to fit, which is kind of a bummer, but I just mounted the hangers to one of the thicker sides. So when building your own versus pre-made ones, you get the ability to customize your spacing. On mine, I decided to use six number two hangers on the lower level, and then three number two hangers and four number one hangers, so a total of seven on the upper level. And in my opinion, it'd be very difficult to find a store-bought holder that'd give me seven hangers within a 25 inch distance. Another thing I did, which wasn't really at all necessary, is I bought these wood insert nuts that give me a quarter 20 threading on them. My reasoning behind this is number one, I've never tried this system before, so if these conduit hangers fail for some reason, or if I wanna swap out the sizes, I can basically just unbolt one instead of removing a wood screw and weakening the wood fibers and the board. This first reason is probably stupid and absurd, but the second reason and the reason I actually went through it all together is because if I ever feel like I need to remove the conduit hanger and put something entirely different in its spot, I can. So these insert nuts give the system a little bit more of a modular design. I did this design only on the lower one though because I bought up all the wood inserts the store had. So the upper one I just screwed in using wood screws and a washer. And to be honest, they feel a little bit more secure and more difficult to rotate. So if you wanna save yourself a little bit more money, you can skip this fantastical luxury. On mine, I used two screws on each end to anchor them into the stud. You could probably get by with one per side, but again, I'm apparently a glutton for overkill. I decided to place them roughly 35 vertical inches apart. So the first one will be that far from my floor. To get this measurement, I measured the length of my longest stand and then added a few inches of room to spare. So when it came time to mounting them, there's a few steps. Hopefully this won't be too confusing. So I found the stud and placed the marks on my hanger board for where the stud screws were gonna go. Then off camera, I pre-drilled holes on the hanger board and came back to the wall and made sure my distance was correct and everything was level. Then I used the hanger board's holes as a guide to pre-drill back through the stud and the drywall behind it. Then after that, I threaded the screws into the board until the ends were just poking out. That way I could line up those little ends with the holes I just drilled in the drywall and then I could drive them all the way in. All right, everyone, this is my take on how to build a DIY light stand or pole-shaped cylindrical object holder. So if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments filled. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.